I decided to study history of art because I took the A-level and I fell in love with the subject and therefore decided to do it for my degree. I decided to study history of art because it encapsulated all my interests, like psychology, sociology, English, fine art, it's all together. I decided to study history of art because I went on a school trip to the V&A at school and I really enjoyed it. And at the time I really enjoyed practical art and I was enjoying English Lit and doing history of art gave me a chance to explore my love of museums, still look at a lot of art and keep doing analytical essays. We live in a world that is full of images. Every day we encounter images of different kinds on our phones, all around us. And history of art as a degree really helps you understand the vital role that images play in our lives. I chose to study history of art at Oxford because initially I fell in love with the place, I fell in love with the city, and then also from what I could glean from the website, I loved that it allowed you to choose a lot of objects to have a really interactive element with the collections around Oxford. Um, and it also sort of dipped into a lot of different places and a lot of different time periods, which I liked. I decided to study at Oxford because of all the museums that um, so incorporate into the, the learning of history of art, like the Ashmolean and the Pitt Rivers, it's all very accessible to us. I wasn't convinced it was for me to start with to study at Oxford, but after looking on the open day, I really liked parts of the course, such as the first year language options and the collections they had at Oxford, so that's why I decided to come. History of art at Oxford is a three-year degree. In the first year, you'll have three introductory courses. In the second year, you'll have another introductory course, but you'll also get the chance to take a specialist subject on a topic that interests you, or rather, three different specialist subjects that interest you. And then in the final year, you'll have another chance to take a specialist subject, and you'll also write a dissertation on a topic of your choice. The kind of art that attracts my interest is probably more modern, I love art from Asia, um, specifically South Asia, and I got to do a South Asian sculpture module, which I adored. Um, and this term I'm doing a photography module, which again, very sort of hands-on, very practical, and I really love that. So my first year I wrote an object essay, it was 5,000 words, um, and it was on a Chinese photographic album from about the 19th century. And I really was allowed to explore it as far as I could with all the resources that Oxford could give me. It was an incredibly, incredibly fun experience. I think my favourite part of the course so far has been the object essay we got to do in first year where it was just a project, you could choose any object in Oxford and write about it and I got to do a research project on something that I'd never come across before and now I've got a love of like modernist architecture. <laughs> I really enjoyed my course on court culture because it kind of shows the sort of political and also sociological aspects um, behind art, like art history and the making of art and the sort of dissemination of art, not just from the artist but from the actual background players um, involved in sort of art experience in society in general. So in second year, there's a collection placement programme, which basically means once a week you'll go to one of the collections in Oxford. It could be one of the museums or one of the college collections, and you can do tasks for them such as archiving or curating small exhibitions, and it's really useful for the CV, and you get to ask your supervisors who are museum professionals about their job, which is really interesting and valuable. So the work placement that I did was with the Bodleian Libraries um, and Special Collections, um, with the Oriental Collections, and it was very interesting because I got to write blogs, I got to explore objects I've always been very interested in, objects from my own heritage, um, and also design posters and things. So it was very, it really showed me um, the capacities of the museum world. So this year I've been doing a placement as part of my course at the Lincoln College Archives, which has been amazing. It's been basically one-on-one -on -one with an archivist uh, working with all the objects and I will be putting on an exhibition as part of this as well in the upcoming term, which is very exciting. Art that I'm really interested in, it's really quite varied. I've got a new interest in European cinema from the 1950s, but then I also really like architecture in a way that I didn't before I came to uni. The best thing about being a student at Oxford is probably the people I've met and also the creative freedom of the degree. I love my college and I love the city and I also just am really, really still very passionate about every sort of element of the degree. I think the best thing about being a student at Oxford is actually the people because everything's so everyone's so engaging, you have such a good time, everyone's so passionate about what they do and their lifestyles here and they're also motivated. It's such a good atmosphere to be in, it's so energetic and motivating, which is really inspiring. 
My favourite thing about studying in Oxford just generally is it's a great city to live in. The college system is really supportive. I love how history of our department, we get to meet friends from other colleges as well. And the resources we've got at hand in the city, such as the libraries and the galleries are just amazing. Our application procedure consists of firstly a short description or analysis of an artwork of your choice in addition to the application and then from there during interview you'll have a chance to describe, engage with a work of art that you probably won't have seen before and in preparation for the interview we're not looking for people who've spent years and years touring museums and galleries with their parents we just want to see that you have a, a visual sensibility that you have that potential to engage and think deeply with works of art so don't worry if you haven't spent your life going to museums and galleries just that enthusiasm for visual art is what is what we're looking for so the admissions process, you start with doing your UCAS statement and a supporting essay, which is a response to an artwork uh, that you're interested in, plus an essay that you've written at school that you just submit. And then following that, you've got interviews. You have two 20 minute interviews. One of them's about your UCAS statement and supporting essays. And then one's about art that you've not seen before, talking about it with the tutors. And it seemed a bit scary, but it wasn't that bad in the end and it was enjoyable. Preparing for admissions, I'd say make sure you know what you've written in your statement and what you've written in your essays because they're likely going to ask you about that. And it's always good to practice just talking yourself through looking at different artworks so you're ready to verbalise it in front of the tutors. The admissions process for me was quite straightforward. I really liked that the written piece was on any artwork that you wanted to see, that you wanted to discuss, um, and also the interview was sort of just a chat about visuals, which I really, really liked. My recommendation for preparing for admissions would be to read a lot, um, read a lot of things that you talk about in your personal statement, make sure that's really tight um, and make sure you can kind of have an opinion on it, have arguments about it and be able to really talk about it passionately. So it has to be very true, your true interests. By the end of the three years, you'll have developed a very refined visual literacy and this will come not only from looking at works of art and having that close visual engagement with works of art, but translating that en engagement into an argument. You might think that the history of art only leads to work in museums and galleries, but actually there's a really wide array, not just of other careers and other fields, but also within the museum and gallery sector, lots of different jobs that you can do. Um, but our students have gone into the business world, they've gone into the civil service, they've gone into urban planning. So the history of art actually leads to a really, really vast array of, of different career choices. You'll find lots more information about our department on the University of Oxford website.